My only concern going into this season was the team's mentality going into the year. All these expectations are finally expected to win the division, to go to the playoffs, expected to compete for the Super Bowl. How was their mentality going into the season? Are they just really like, hey, this is us. We, have to, we don't have to put any work in. It's just going to be handed to us. That's not at all their mentality. And Dan Campbell knows that because he said in his press conference yesterday that when he used to be on a team that went 12-4 and four the year before, they went 7-9 and nine the following year. And he will never allow that to happen because you want to know why that was happening? Because they weren't practicing as hard as they used to. They were taking days off when they shouldn't have been taking days off. And that's exactly what Dan Campbell is relaying to this team. And we don't have the players that are here to take the days off. I love that message that Dan Campbell was saying. We got to put the work in. Yeah, we can have all these great expectations, but that means nothing without putting the work in. And that's the mentality this team needs to have. And that's why we're gritty and we're not going to lose our identity. And that's awesome. That means we're still going to be hitting people. That means we're still going to be practicing hard. And you can see that message was relayed to Amon Ross St. Brown, who is probably this is him and Penny Sewell's team this is his and Penny Sewell's team and their mentality is we got to put the work in and they all want the Super Bowl they're all main goal is the Super Bowl and they all know they can't just get there by talking about it they got to put the work in and that is so encouraging to hear as a fan you don't want players to be like yeah Super Bowl expectations but I you don't want that lazy mentality you want the players that hey we got to put the work in that's not just going to happen for us we got to put the work in and that's relayed through your leaders through Amin Ra, Penne, Taylor Decker, Frank Ragnall, Jared Goff it's a good feeling to have going into this season now let's talk about day one of camp JMO, JMO, JMO. it's all you heard yesterday he was burning all the DBs not all the DBs he burnt Terry on Arnold and Ifatu Melifanmu on a deep route and scored a touchdown and puked after him not worried about him puking he'll be all right he'll bounce back but it's good to see him getting involved in the Burn Terry on Arnold and Terry on Arnold. If you follow him on TikTok, he's doing training camp rookie chronicles. I, I suggest you guys watch, it's kind of entertaining. He was like, People are already saying Terry on Arnold can't cover anybody, Terry on Arnold can't do this. He was like, Man, JMO runs a 4 1. What do you want me to do? It's football, things are gonna happen. You're gonna get beat every once in a while, and he's gonna bounce back. The only unfortunate part right now that I'm kind of annoyed with is Carlton Davis got put on the NFI list yesterday, but Dan Campbell doesn't seem that concerned about any of the injuries, and then they had Arnold. And <clears throat> Rake Straw out there on the outside, and they had Mosley in there. And I keep forgetting about Emmanuel Mosley. I really do. And this is a good thing that he's healthy now. I, I thought he wasn't going to be healthy to the start of the regular season, but now he's got a full camp under him. And if he could stay healthy to have him start in the nickel, that would be awesome or earn a spot outside. Like he said, he's just trying to earn some spot to play this season. That's the mentality I like to have. All these players know they got to earn it, and they know they got to put the work in, and that is the most – encouraging thing to hear as a fan going into this year you don't want that mentality like i was talking about in the early earlier in the video that things are just going to happen to us we don't have to put any of the work in that's bad mentality you always got to put the work in and they had me manuel mosley there and then you got a meek robertson who started on the nfi list these guys getting valuable reps right now and then have those guys rotating in and out our secondary is I forget about how good our secondary can be this year because how atrocious it's been the last five six years to having Amik Robertson be able to go play in the nickel, to have Emmanuel Mosley to be able to play in the nickel. Then you got Carlton Davis on the outside. Then you got the two rookies. And then on the back end, you can move Brian Branch anywhere on the field. They got him repping in at safety with Kirby Joseph right now and Fatu Malafango. I'm excited to see what this team can do. And to go back on my video for Monday, Davenport is fine. He was out practicing yesterday. He's off the NFI list. He's off the PUP list. He should be ready to go. Full padded practice on Monday. These aren't my observations, so it's not like I'm at training camp. I'm getting these observations from the Detroit Beats writers. That's why I'm not going to put in the title Detroit Observation or Detroit Lions training camps. They want observations. I wasn't there. I don't have any observations, so I'm just taking it from the Detroit Beat writers, and I'm putting my two cents into it, if that makes sense. That's why I was more or less talking about the mentality that they got coming into the season with Dan Campbell, Amon Ross St. Brown, David Montgomery, and Taylor Decker. They all got to put the work in, and that's the mentality that's relayed through the team, and that's what I took away from day one. What do you guys think about this team? I'm very excited. Hendon Hooker and Nate Sudfield are battling for QB2. I really hope it's Hendon Hooker because then we would have wasted a third-round pick on him. It should be Hendon Hooker. I'm excited to see what he could do with the second-team offense and what he could do behind Jared Goff. Just excited that the season's finally here. It's time to go. It's time to roll. Super Bowl or bust, man. Hopefully we're talking about this team all the way till February. Let me know what you guys think about the video down below. Comment, like, subscribe. Please keep helping this channel grow. I really appreciate you guys for tuning in. 
It's going to be a fun week. It's going to be a fun off season. I'm excited. Like I said, this team is going places. This team has finally got Super Bowl expectations for the first time in my life, and it feels great. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.